How's my hair? Looks good. Hi, I'm Jeff Flato. Welcome back to another episode of That's the Way the Cookie Crumbles recipe segment today. We're at the Kitchen Table Studios with my friend uh, Kendrick McKay. Uh, and uh, welcome y'all back. Hope you've been enjoying these segments. I have, uh, especially afterwards, we get to eat everything. So uh, I have to do a good job because uh, the staff will be really PO'd if we don't do something that's a spectacular. So today we're going to do chicken quesadilla pie. Uh, I've never heard of that before. I ran across it and I've never made it. So this is going to be an experiment and uh, hopefully we can uh, pull this thing off and make everybody happy and you guys learn something. And I'm sure there are ways you can change this with the meats and different things, but we'll get started right now. Uh, we're going to use a beautiful nine inch pie plate. And this is made by Emil Henry. Emil Henry from France. So we're at kitchen table and these, these pie plates are available here. Now this is not your glass Pyrex here. This is uh, now look. I sprayed this. Is it okay to spray it? Okay. All right. So I sprayed it with avocado oil. Uh, I used the Pam avocado oil. So the, we're going to use the 10-inch flour tortilla. You press the tortilla down into the pie plant. So it's a lot easier than doing uh, puff pastry or phyllo and uh, different kinds of doughs. So if you're not as talented uh, with the, those types of things like me, then here we go with that. So. Rotisserie chicken is the next thing. You can buy these rotisserie chickens hot or you can get the uh, old ones at corner market or uh, wherever you shop and sometimes they're discounted. So that's what I did today. And uh, the ch rotisserie chicken, we take the skin off, debone it, get all the bones out, get the meat and shred it up. Uh, and that's what we've got here. Uh, Tyler did this, so if there's skin in it, then we're gonna blame him. I like uh, the skin. A little skin, you know, kind of gives it a little, little texture too. A little, little fat doesn't hurt you a little bit. In, in, in small parcels. So we're gonna do the chicken and then next is um, we're gonna have a cup of cilantro. So this is chopped all ready for us. There we go with the cilantro. And then we're gonna go with the third cup of diced jalapeno peppers. Good and hot. If you dice those, don't rub your eyes after. We all know what happens. So we've got two cups of shredded cheddar, but we're dividing that into one cup here. And then we're gonna do salt and pepper. So now this is very fancy. So this is pepper. This is pepper. Uh, Vic Firth used to have his name on that. Uh, Who's that? It's, it was uh, Mario style pepper grinder. Yes, this is for salt. So we're putting up, you know, just a little bit of salt and pepper to give it a little, a little flavor. And then we're gonna mix that. And get that chicken good and bite. Just where you can, you're gonna cut this like a pie in the end. So you wanna get that chicken good. And that's good there. Doesn't take but a second. It's nice and moist. It's a good chicken. You could use chicken breast and you could boil them. You could bake them. Uh, I think you could put just about any meat. So if you had something left over you want to get rid of and you got tortillas there and you got these items, you could do this anytime. And hopefully this comes out good for us. So there's the mixture. Okay. Next, we're going to put this down in here. It says very carefully. Smells good. The cilantro, of course, cilantro's, I mean, it smells great anyway. Okay, we'll put that right here. So next, we're gonna go with two large eggs. So, voila. Voila. And get those beaten up good. Then we're gonna go with one cup of milk. Fresh from the goat. Gray the goat is what we call him. We got a goat named Gray. But the milk is white. So then after that, a half a cup of all-purpose flour. Again, we're we're walking into treacherous territory. 
We've never done this. Let's see what we get here. I'm looking at it and I'm wondering, is that gonna fit in there? We gotta trust the recipe. This is not my recipe, unless it turns out good and then it's my recipe. All right, so we wanna get the no lumps in the flour. We need a little baking soda. It calls for one teaspoon. It's a half, that's an eighth, that's a quarter. The one that was hiding from me, of course. Just like the kids. And if you have kids, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't have kids, it won't register. Put the top back on, because this does not need to get wet. Clabber girl, I always wondered, is there a clabber boy? He's probably got something to do with making beer, yeast or something. All right, so that looks good to me. There's no lumps. It looks nice. Almost looks like pancake batter. Then the recipe calls for gently pouring it over the meat mixture. Looks like it's just about dead gum perfect as far as the recipe goes. All right, so last step is we're gonna spread the other cup of cheese on top. Gently again, you don't want it to kind of go down into the mixture. Now, this says put the oven at 450. I went 350, it's a convection oven. So we're kind of experimenting. I don't really want to, that's enough cheese to me. I'm trying to cut back on my cheese. I love cheese. I eat too much of it. But anyway, back to the oven dilemma. We're gonna go 350 and see what happens. If it doesn't cook right, then we'll know we should have followed it. But I think 450 is too hot. It's supposed to get golden brown for 20 minutes. And uh, so that's uh, what we're gonna look for. I'm wondering, hopefully the cheese doesn't melt. It says in the middle. All right, so we're gonna set timer for 20 minutes. And we're gonna come back and hopefully We'll have a beautiful looking chicken quesadilla pie. We'll let it cool and we'll get some salsa or some barbecue sauce and we'll go after it. That is a, that's golden brown as it suggests. It should have firmed up. It says to let it cool, but I just want to check it to make sure that, you know, what we're looking like on the inside because I had a little trouble with the flour mixture on the top. So I'm going to get, I'm gonna get a little scoop. <laughs> this looks perfect. I'm gonna scoop that thing out. Ooh. And see. I'm trying to get a grab on there. So we're making sure that the flour cooked in there. Looks like it did. Woo, doggy. Man, that's fine. That's very good. Look, this was easy. I've never made this before. I've ran across it and thought that's, looks really good. That is good. Didn't get the caloric in the count on it or the fat, but it's got cheese, it's got chicken, jalapenos, all the other things we put in there, the cilantro. But I mean, this is really good. Um, it did not stick, as you can see. That's probably because of Kennard's cookware. And also, and that tortilla is really firm. Look at that, you see that, if you can see that. It's really nice. It's got a great brown coat, it's, it's, it, it's perfect. Uh, I told you not to cook it at 450, uh, maybe 400 with a convection. It took a little longer, but it came out great. The cheese uh, was perfect, it's golden. And uh, I imagine you could eat half of this, refrigerate it, pop it back out in the microwave, and it would be wonderful. I'd throw some salsa on it or guacamole, and uh, that's a meal. It's kind of like a quiche, but not. It's, it's not. There's only two eggs in this, so um, eggs are good for you, but it does have whole milk, but you could probably go with skim milk and reduce some of the fat. 
and, and use a low fat cheese if you wanted to. This was sharp cheddar is what it called for. But anyway, there you go. Uh, I recommend this one, try it. You will like it. Now we let it cool in the chicken quesadilla pie. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful, it looks like a pie. I mean, nobody would know, I think, if you, if you didn't tell them that this was a, and it's, it's cool, this pan's still a little hot. And that's just the quality that holds the heat, but it just definitely didn't burn it. We just put a little uh, avocado oil in there. But I mean, it looks kind of like a quiche. Really, uh, and look at that. Uh, the crew here is ready to eat. I think so. They're looking at this with like wolves. <laughs> uh, we're looking for forks, and then we're gonna we're gonna eat it. Never trust a chef or a cook that doesn't eat his own food. Believe me.